how BMW started, grew, and became a $193 billion company. BMW, which means Bayerische Motoren Werke, is a German automobile manufacturing company that was founded in 1916 with a history of producing motorcycles, aircraft, and cars. How BMW started BMW originated from the merging of a rap Motoren Werke, Bayerische Vlöschirk Werke, BFW in Bavaria and Vrashig Fabrik Eschnash in Thuringia. Aircraft engine manufacturer Rapp Motorin Verka became Bayerische Motorin Verka in 1916. BFW was bought and merged to become BMW that same year. With Carl Rapp as head, the company had no good machinery, insufficient skilled labor, and very small and old workshop. These factors affected production. Considering that engines to be built belonged to the government, the company was forced to obtain financial aid which was enough to build a full factory in Munich in the same area as the old workshop. The company also got enough machinery and skilled labor. By 1917, Max Wedmann held about 80% of the shares in Rapp Motorin Werke, most of which he got from his father-in-law, Karl Rapp. Max Weidmann's relinquishment of the shares in 1918 opened the way for the creation of a public limited company called BMW AG. The share capital of BMW AG was 12 million Richmax and was bought equally by three investor groups, the Bayerische Bank and the Norddeutsche Bank, the Nuremberg Industrialist Fritz Neumeyer and Viennese financer Camilo Castiglioni. During World War I, the company focused fully on the manufacture of airplanes with motorcycles by the side and no automobiles at all. This decision was against the advice of Franz Josef Popp, who was the director of the company at that time. After World War I, the commissioner of demobilization in Bavaria ordered the closure of BMW AG factory from 6 December 1918 in order to ensure companies began production as soon as possible. In 1922, after Castiglione bought BMW name and merged it with BFW, BMW moved into the old Gustav Otto Vlojek Verga building and that's the address of BMW's headquarters till date. The company became known for producing engines and then motorcycles which were an integral part of BFW. The company developed its automobiles from the seven-based car to the six-cylinder luxury car. This alongside the manufacture of airplanes and motorcycles continued until World War II. In 1927, BMW bought Dixie Automobile Verka AG from Gotha Vogon Fabric. The Dixie 315, the only product being produced by Dixie before the merger, became the BMW 315, BMW's first car after acquiring Dixie Verka. In 1929, after buying Vashuk Fabric Esnatch, the company became a manufacturer of automobiles. In late 1930, BMW decided to upgrade their prototypes. The BMW Dixie 315 DA4 and BMW Wattberg DA3 by adding a new front axle with independent wheel suspension. This upgrade, however, ended in failure as the models were involved in accidents due to construction faults. The BMW automobile to use a six cylinder engine was the 303. It was designed using the new BMW M78 engine in 1933. It was also the first BMW to use the kidney grille, which would become characteristic of BMW automobiles. In 1936, a bigger four-door sedan with a more cast iron frame was designed to replace the 303. This was the 326 model. The 328 model, which was introduced in 1936, 
replaced 315-1 and 319-1 road stars. From 1939 to 1941, BMW designed a bigger and luxurious version of 326, the 335. This model was built with a 3.5-liter M335 engine. During World War II, German manufacturing companies directed their focus to the production of war equipment. In 1939, BMW acquired Branden Bokshe Motoren Verka, also known as Bramo, from Siemens Group of Companies. It was merged with the aircraft division and operated under the name BMW Flag Motoren Bureau GmbH. One of the most powerful engines, BMW 801, as well as a wide range of engines, were produced for Luftwaffe. Throughout 1945, over 30,000 aero engines and 500 jet engines were produced. To achieve this high production, forced labor consisting primarily of prisoners from concentration camps in Dachau was used. At the end of the war, almost 50% of BMW AG staff were prisoners from concentration camps. Towards the end of the war, the BMW AG factory in Munich was bombed and totally destroyed and BMW sites in eastern Germany were seized by the Soviets. The manufacture of motor vehicles was banned by the Allies. During the ban, BMW used remnants of the wreck and second-hand items to produce pots and pans. Later on, it expanded to production of kitchen appliances and bicycles. The United States authorities granted BMW permission to produce motor vehicles in 1947 and production started in 1948. The company Essenach East Germany was taken over by the Soviet Autowello Group who continued production using the BMW logo. This continued until it was legally severed by BMW AG. The Auto Wello Group continued production using the red and white version of the logo until 1955. At the end of the 1940s, BMW had gone back to motorcycle production but not automobile manufacturing. The technical director of BMW, Kurt Donath, began the search for older models of vehicles from Ford and Simca to be sold under license. While the search was going on, Alfred Bonin designed the BMW 331 model, which looked like a miniature 327. The model was proposed to the management for production but was rejected by the sales director, Hans Grivenig. Grivenig stated that the small production capital was suitable for the production of luxury cars just like the ones produced before the war as they yielded a higher profit margin. As a result, he asked Bonin to design the 501. When the 501 model was introduced, the price was four times the income of an average German at DM 15,000. By 1952, production became delayed due to the holdup in the delivery of the parts and body construction which took over a year. Later on, two versions of the 501 were released, the model 501A with a DM1000 reduction in price and the 501B model with a DM2000 reduction in price. In February 1954, the response of consumers to the display of Mercedes-Benz 190SL and 300SL at the International Motorsports Auto Show in New York caused the BMW management to yield to Grivenig's idea of producing a sports car using the 502 model. Unfortunately, as the year 1959 rolled in, BMW was in so much debt and on the verge of bankruptcy that Dr. Hans Firth, the chairman of the supervisory board, suggested at the annual general meeting held on the 6th of December 1959 that the company merges with Damlia Benz. Other shareholders opposed this idea. The Quant Group at that time increased their stakes in BMW, owning two-thirds of stakes by the end of November 1960. 
The company then paid its shareholders dividends for the first time since World War II in 1963. The company continued to make progress and between 1994 and 2001, BMW acquired the British Rover Group from British Aerospace. During this six years period, Rover was a brand of BMW but existed as an independent unit. BMW designed an agreement with Aftertour to produce cars in Russia in 1999. Cars intended for use in the Chinese market were produced in Shenyang, China in 2004. A factory that would serve African countries as well as countries in the Middle East was opened in Egypt in 2005. By 2015, BMW became the 12th largest manufacturer of automobiles in the world and in 2017, a total of 2,691,000 423 vehicles were produced by BMW. Where BMW is now? Today, BMW has factories which manufacture automobiles in Germany, Brazil, China, India, South Korea, Egypt, South Africa, and the United States. In 2017, BMW had an operating income of at least $10 billion net income of $8.7 billion and total assets upwards of $193 billion.